everybody, it's Wednesday, October 6th, the year is 2010, and that means it's another edition of Hub Day News. This is edition number eight, numero ocho. It is the culture from New York City edition. I'm going to be talking to Carmelita Tropicana, a typical American teenager, and talking to my, my dear friend and pimpresario, Earl Dax. Hello people, I am Carmelita Tropicana speaking to you from Nueva York. Oh my god, it's so exciting. I am at PS122 Avant Garde Rama where Marga Gomez just did a wonderful show. Oh, Avant Garde Rama is fantastic. Anyway, thanks everybody. Uh, it's gonna be a great, great show. I know you can feel that right now. What else? Oh, the news in Nueva York is to die for. What do you know? There is a beaver just found in the Bronx River. The Bronx River, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what the beaver has been called, baptized right now, today? Justin Bieber. That's right, that's no joke. Ladies and gentlemen, you can come to Nueva York to see a beautiful show called Hotel Savoy, a good house. That's right, good house is German. Hotel Savoy by PS122. This is Carmelita Tropicana, Aina Lesbische Kubanerin. Tschüss. Earl Dax. These are Joey Arias' first concert engagements in New York City in nearly a decade. Of course, he's channeling Billie Holiday, and he's with a live jazz band. There's lots of improvisation, uh, plays with the audience. He's got gorgeous costumes. It's a sumptuous evening of music and song, and you better get your tickets because last weekend was sold out, sold out, sold out. And we had a birthday party for Joey after the show on Saturday night. Penny Arcade, Justin Bond, Linda Simpson, Chichi Valenti, all sorts of downtown personages were in attendance. It was what delightful. What about Bloomberg? Was Bloomberg there? Uh, well, I can't really say. Off the record, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a typical, popular American teenager. Never met her before. But the reason I'm talking to her is to find out what's behind the new internet sensation, whipping my hair back and forth, by um, uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's daughter. <laughs> so, kids are whipping their hair back and forth because they think they're cool. They get bored and they just do. That's basically why. There's no cool reason why, you just do it. You maybe do it for like 10 seconds. You kind of will start to get a little dizzy, but you do it for about 15 seconds until you're done. Do people do it during class? I usually do. When I get bored, I start whipping my hair a lot. Do teachers say anything about this? They tell you to stop, but no one really listens. They don't really care. We've been talking to a typical American teenager, and a popular one at that. I wouldn't be conceited, but I do have many friends, and I do know of the song. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, popular American teenager, for talking to Marga's Hump Day News. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. That's all the time we have for Marga's Hump Day News. We had a special long one because there were so many amazing people to talk to about so many amazing things in New York. I'm going to be back in San Francisco, actually, this Friday. You can see me at the Rooftop Comedy Out Loud 
Gay Comedy Festival, something like that. Check it out on my website. Thanks a lot for watching these Hump Day News. And thanks to all my amazing, interesting, fabulous guests this week on Marcus Hump Day News. Goodbye from New York. Goodbye. Watch him make some matzah.